Hi guys, in this video, I'll be showing you how to analyze a portfolio of strategies in Python. And I'll be showing you some really powerful libraries in Python, so you don't want to miss this video. In episode 1, I told you I'll be showing you how to build an army of bots. And at the end of last month, I announced an algo building contest. We got a total of 9 viewers submitting their bots, and some running on multiple currencies, so we have a total of 17 strategies that we can analyze. First, let me show you how to download the results for the backtest. After running your backtest, you can go to the History tab and right click on the trades to export to Excel. And this will export the results into an Excel file in the backtesting folder. I've already downloaded the results for the 17 strategies, so I'll be showing you how to get these into Python. If you haven't got Python installed yet, you'll want to check out episode 4 where I show you how to install it. And once you've installed Python, you'll want to install two Python libraries. The first one is Plotly, and you can install that using conda install plotly in your command prompt. And the second library I'll be showing you is a library called Detail. To install this library, just do a Google search for Detail. And copy this line with conda install detail from the conda forge. And just run that in your command prompt. Once that's installed, we can open up Jupyter Notebooks. and navigate to the backtesting folder where our results are stored. And then create a new Python 3 notebook. The first thing we need to do is import the libraries that we'll be using. So we'll import pandas as pd, and we'll import glob, we'll import detail, and we'll also set the plotting backend to plotly. and hit shift enter to run that block. Next we want to grab all the file names in the folder. So we can use files equals glob dot glob and we can use star dot xlsx to grab all the excel files. Now we can see that it pulled in all the file names for us. This glob function basically searches for files that match the string. So we can do things like add star gbp to get all the strategies that are trading on that currency. But let's get rid of that since we want all the files. We can get the first file by accessing it with the zero index. And we can use pd.readexcel to read it into a data frame. Let's use the close time of the trades as the index column. And we'll set past dates equals true to turn it into a date time index. Now we can use a simple for loop to loop through the files. We'll create an empty list using df equal to these square brackets. And we'll use df.append to append each of the files to the list as we loop through them. Now the list contains all of the files, and we can use pd.concat to turn the list into a data frame. Looks like it only brought in one strategy, and that's because it's pointing at the first file for each run of the loop. So we just need to change this file 0 into file. And now we've got all of the strategies. I'm just going to delete this NNFX one because it's not part of the contest. Let's rerun that and now we have all the trades for the 17 strategies in the contest.
I'm going to sort the index to order the trades by date. And then I'm going to reset index to turn the index back into a column. Now we can create a pivot table using df.pivot and give it the date, the label and the net AUD. And this gives us a neat table with all of the returns of each strategy side by side. We can turn all these NAs into zeros using the fill NA function. Then we can use the cum sum function to get the cumulative sum for each strategy. And now we can plot the equity curves side by side. This chart is interactive, so you can double click to highlight a specific strategy, and you can click on the other strategies to compare them. Now let's see what it looks like when we run all 17 bots at the same time. So I'm going to create a new column called portfolio and set that to returns.sum with the access equal to one and that will just sum across the columns. And now we get this pretty nice looking equity curve for our portfolio. And you can clearly see the benefits of diversification when running the bots together. Okay, now let me show you something really cool. But first, let's convert the returns to monthly returns using returns.resample. Use m for monthly returns, and we want to sum the returns. And now we're going to use detail.show on this monthly returns table. Detail is basically a graphical user interface for pandas, and it can turn any pandas data frame into an interactive one, which you can perform data analysis on the fly without writing any code. There are so many functions built into this, and I won't be able to cover them all, but let's go through the basic ones. Let's scroll over to our portfolio column, and now we can click on the column and sort it. And we can see that we lost $174 in the worst month for this portfolio. And in the best month, we made about $300. If you click on the top left corner of this table, you'll find a whole bunch of different functions. Let's check out the describe function. This basically summarizes all the stats for each of the columns. And you can even click on histogram to see a distribution of the returns for the portfolio. Let's go back to our data. And the next thing I want to show you is charts. And you can create all of these different types of charts by just pointing and clicking without writing any code. For example, let's create a bar chart with the dates on the x-axis and our portfolio on the y-axis. And now we can see the monthly returns of the portfolio over time. We can also look at the yearly returns by changing the aggregation to sum and then changing the x-axis to close time yearly. And we can see that the portfolio pretty consistently returns at least $600 per year. 
Let's go back to our data again and let's check out the correlations function. This is quite handy because it gives us our correlation matrix and it shows which of the strategies are correlated with each other. And clicking on these cells gives us the rolling correlations. And we can also change the rolling window quite easily to 12 months. At a glance, the correlations between all the strategies seems quite low, which is what we want. So I'd be happy to run all these bots together. If you do find some of your strategies to be highly correlated, then you probably want to exclude some of them. Okay, let's go back to our Jupyter Notebook now and load up the original data frame into detail so we can bring in some of the other columns. I just want to show you some of these other charts, like the 3D scatter chart. So we can put the close time on the x-axis. The currency symbol on the y-axis. And the net AUD on the z-axis. And we can use the aggregation as sum. And now we have this really nice looking interactive 3D scatter chart. Hit the like button if you think that's pretty cool. We can easily change it to a surface chart. And we can even make a word cloud to see which currencies had the most profits. So like I said, there's a ton of features here. And the best thing is we don't even have to write any code. So feel free to have a play around and let me know what you think in the comments. And by the way, if you want to get access to these strategies, I am hosting another round of the contest for next month. All contestants will get access to the bots from round one and entries will close by the end of January. So make sure to drop into the Discord server to get all the details.